Hey what's up guys, Alone here. Today we're going to talk about the differences between the beta version of Symmetra compared to how she works on the live servers as of uploading this video. Now before I start the video I want to say thank you to Raspberry for allowing me to use the gameplay that he had from the beta in the background of this video and his channel link will be in the description. There are actually multiple things that has changed for the better in my opinion since the beta. One of the bigger ones is how her E ability works. In the current game, Symmetra's E ability is a projected shield on a 10 second cooldown that blocks damage in front of her and travels in a straight line. But in the beta, that's not how the E ability worked. Instead, the ability was a 1 second cooldown ability that when used on a friendly player would give them a shield of 25 HP, which is the blue type of HP that also regenerates. The 25 shields seemed kind of underwhelming to play with and that's why it was changed, but the top tier players used to get caught off guard by the extra HP thinking that their shot would kill the target as they usually know how much damage all the abilities does and what kind of HP all the heroes have, but the target survived with that small amount of extra HP and sometimes made that target survive. And I mean overall, the ability could be a huge game changer, overall having it on 5 players at a time you would have 125 more HP as a team overall, but also if you imagine the scenario of your Mercy trying to go in for a resurrection, she gets hit by a 200 damage shot and survives with that small amount of HP, she gets the rest off, it could be a huge game changer. But overall as Symmetra just putting shield on everyone and hoping that one of those small scenarios would happen just didn't really feel that good. So one thing that you can only have on both the live servers and the beta servers is a maximum of 6 turrets active at once. But the difference is, in the live servers you start with having 6 turrets that you can just place out instantly and they start recharging as soon as you place one. In the beta she only started with having 3 turrets, which is kind of a problem because then you had to wait for the recharge to actually place all the ones you could have up at the same time. So after placing the turrets then the cooldown would start rolling and it was way slower of a recharge time than we have on live. So imagine the scenario that you were a bit late out of spawn then you had a lot to catch up on. Place turrets and wait for the recharge as well as put shields on everyone on your team individually. So playing Symmetra back in the days could be quite a chore I tell you. But anyways, what about Symmetra's main damage ability, which is her Photon Beam? Its beam range actually used to be really short so that you had to be really close to a target to actually deal damage to them. The damage being the same, but on live the range was extended quite a bit, making it easier not to be kited extremely easy by most heroes in the game. And now we're down to the last difference with Symmetra, which is her ultimate. Which actually had an overall change that brought back the extra HP shields to the game but in a stronger form. Symmetra's ultimate teleporter has always been in the game since the beta, however the live server has added a second choice to the ultimate. Either you can go with a normal teleporter that worked exactly the same as in beta or you can swap that out for a shield generator which gives everyone in your team including yourself 75 more HP. The shield generator does have a maximum range where people can gain its effect so you have to place it in a good spot where it can reach an area that you want to play in which the 25 HP shields from the beta did not require. And as people can also kill it, you can place it in a spot and maybe a tracer flanks it and kills it, then you have no shields anymore and you have to regain the ultimate again to get them. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about Symmetra in the beta. Just before I end the video, I want to give you a quick TLDR of how it was playing Symmetra in the beta. You chased off the people all the time just to get super close to them to deal damage and sometimes you felt like you were definitely really close to a target but the beam just didn't attach anyways because the beam range was so extremely short. You had a 25 shield that you can give out to teammates with basically no cooldown. You spent like half the game just waiting for your turrets to recharge again so you could place them out and actually have more than like 3 turrets up at once was a hassle. Your ultimate was only a teleporter and your right click overall in the game has been unchanged compared to live. Overall a pretty lackluster hero and not a big surprise that a lot was changed with her. But yeah, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys found it interesting or at least entertaining. And if you want to see more content from me, then you can click the video on the screen to check out how Senyata used to work back in the beta, which is actually kind of interesting. Also, maybe uh, take a second to think about subscribing because, yeah, I don't know. Why not? But have a good one, guys. Take care.